All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Fears video with Fat Phil. And in this video, guys, we're going to be doing, you know, continuing our series with Galactic Legend Farming Guides. We're nearing the end, and I wanted to do one on Galactic Legends, right? This is a Galactic Legend that I think gets a lot of unfair hate from people. I do understand that a lot of us, myself included, weren't really huge fans of her character inside of, you know, the sequel trilogy. However, she is amazing in this game. I don't think she gets enough credit for how defensively good she can be. Like, she's a GL that, if you know how to solve the puzzle, she's not going to cause you tons of problems. But if you don't know how to solve the Ray puzzle, you will never get through her, right? Like, she's a really good defensive GL. She can cause a lot of problems. And with Ben Solo, she has definitely taken a couple steps up inside of how insanely difficult she is to take out in Grand Arena. So we're going to go through her recs, and I actually want to say that, like, her requirements are not anything crazy. Like, there are only 14 requirements for her, and one of them is level 85, and the other is the Radis at 5 stars, right? So that means that there are only 12 characters that she actually needs at Relic levels. Now, with that said, keep in mind that a few of these characters are legendary characters so we're going to get into this guys now as always in everything we do here we must first and always give praise to our king wampa if you guys want to see wampa hit relic 8 all you need to do is get this channel to 5,000 subscribers we are growing so fast i cannot thank everybody here for your support you all are amazing now back to our regularly scheduled content where we're going to talk about ray so obviously she's all the jedi and i you know heavily sarcastic when I say that because she's not a Jedi. Um, you know, she is resistance, which is actually good, right? Like the, the characters you farm up for her, you can use them in arena with her in Grand Arena Territory Wars, and you're still going to have a pretty decent team, right? So this is the first team that I would build up for Rey. And the reason I say this is because her requirements are okay. But this team right here is like a really good ground team, right? This is a very good ground team. Now, when I said there were two legendaries, Jedi Training Ray is one of them. And for her event, you need, um, it's like the Stick Ray, OG Finn, BB-8, you need the, and the Veteran Smugglers, right? Those are the characters you need for Jedi Training Ray. So... You've got to kind of farm them up, right? You're going to invest some gear, and then you're going to go a little bit heavier into JTR. BB-8 is also a journey guide character, and he's one where you actually just need first order. Now, you don't need insane first order to get this event, but as you guys know, if you follow along with Fat Phil Far Approved Farming Guide, your first Galactic Legend becomes Kylo Ren. So you're going to get Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you can eventually just circle around and get BB-8 easily, right? Like, he's really not that difficult to obtain. So I don't recommend getting Ray first. So, you know, my assumption would be that you'll at least have some semblance of a first order team formed to get BB-8 to seven stars, right? Then you want to get your resistance bros. These are two characters that are fantastic. I really wish I had gear on mine, but I just cannot afford to gear them up. Um, and then Holdo is just a very good tank. She's also the, like, pilot, if you will, for the Radis. So we want to get her up. We want to make sure that that ship is good to go and get it ready, get it prepared for five stars, right? So then that's the first area you want to focus on, right? The ground game, right? That I think that her fleet is kind of okay, which is where we're going to go next, right? And these are kind of the main pilots of that fleet, right? So you have OG Finn and Stick Ray, who are the pilots for the, um, you know, Ray's Millennium Falcon, right? We've got to make sure we call it that. Um, then you have Poe Dameron, right, who he is, you know, Poe's X-Wing. This is a very good ship. This is actually, like, it does a lot of damage. And then you have the Resistance Bomber, which is crewed by Resistance Trooper and Rose Tico, which is just pure comedy. But that ship is really good. While it's not a requirement for, like, the Holdo ship, it is good enough that I really think it's worth investing in these characters before you think about going for, like, the next level, right? That, like, it, it's a very good ship. It's a good bomber ship. It makes that fleet, again, it makes them better, right? So 
you want to focus on these guys next. And, you know, there's 10 characters right there. So there's only two characters left to do. So I called him the last and the least. It's a little bit harsh on Resistance Pilot because you do need Resistance Pilot for Holdo's ship. Um, they're a decent ship, but they, they're they a terrible character, right? Like, at least Resistance Trooper, I can stomach seeing them in teams because of the exposed turn meter game that they have, right? Like, they do have this really nice, you know, 55% turn meter when an enemy is becomes exposed. Like, that can be really nice, right? That's a very potent ability. Um, but otherwise, I mean, there's definitely some pretty poor wrecks in here, right? And then veteran, veteran smuggler Chewbacca, I mean, again, just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely, this is a rough GL as far as wrecks go, right? Like if I'm being completely honest with people, this is a fleet that I see a lot of people just throw on defense because it'll steal a few banners, but it's really not anything special, Right. This team up here, these characters are all worth getting. Like, these are the characters I primarily see people use with Galactic Legends Ray. Um, obviously, as you get farther in the game, you'll see people using other comps. But, you know, you take out... I'd normally say you ditch BB-8 here. And then you have JTR, the Hero Bros, and Holdo, and that's your Ray team, right? And that's a very formidable team. So, with the rest of these characters, you just kind of... Don't really use them except for fleets when you need to. Um, and I think that's why Ray gets a lot of hate. Her requirements are definitely down. I don't know. I would definitely say they're some of the worst requirements for Galactic Legend. Um, but, uh, you know, don't hate on her. Don't sleep on her. Ray is a very important character in this game. Again, with Ben Solo, she's gotten insanely better. And, like, keep in mind, too, that she's one of the first two Galactic Legends, which means that her Rex don't need a ton of Kyra tech. Their relic levels are normally lower, so she's a very obtainable Galactic Legend, so I don't want to, like, bash her too much, right? Like, still very much a good GL. But this is the farming order, guys. This is what I think will help you get the most out of the farm the fastest, right? This is what I think will give you the most benefit, the most bang for your buck, right? But let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below. As always, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, I love every single one of you. May the force be with you, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.